I even speak of the challenge of managing with human waste in high altitude near Concagua. Okay. Aconcagua is located in the central Andes of Argentina and includes the highest peak in the southern hemisphere. Okay, Aconcagua mountain is 6,960 meters. Um, this is the surface of the, of the park. Around more or less 710 square kilometers, we're talking about 71,000 hectares. Um, was, the park was created in 1983 and has a park range of present from 1990, okay? Some of characteristics of the park is, is a cool and dry weather about 4,000 meters below zero, freezing years all year round, strong winds, we have mountain rivers, underground water, leisure lake, wetland in meadow is a priority place for for to preserve. About the geology and soil is the, the park have huge shade valleys, marine deposit, mountain glacier, thin soil, sandy loam, um, meadow soil. This is rich in, in organic matter. Okay, the number of the park, oh, we work in summer, our summer. The season begins 15th of November until 15th of March. We have Four different kind of permits is the day you stay in the park, is day trekking, short trekking is three days in the park, seven days trekking is a long trekking is seven days in the park, and climbing permit for 20 days. Uh, we have the park has two entrances, Orcones Valley is over here, and then it's Vagas Valley is over here, the entrance. Um, 70 percent of the people going to Orcones Valley is the normal route into the park. Start walking around four hours to the first approaching camp called Confluencia. The people stay there for probably two nights is the helps to acclimatize the valley to the altitude and then continue walking to the Plaza de Mula is the base camp from the normal route. The other side, the other entrance is quite similar but there are some difference. Uh, example, you have two approaching camp, Pampa de Leñas and Casa de Piedra. These places, the people stay and the mules and the mule driver stay with them, okay? Because in Confluencia, um, the campsite, you only approach him by food. Um, all your stuff, the fuel, the food and equipment, by, by mule, the, the mules transport the, the stuff. And there is a, a camp with services. There is a private company uh, into, into, into the place. It's the same in Plaza de Mulas as uh, it's the same Plaza Argentina. It's the other base camp. But here in this place, Pampa de Leña, San Casa de Piedra, is not company. Um, the mules driver and the mules, what we do all the time, all the way. Um, the other difference is in that place is the people make fire, okay? In, in Confluencia and other base camp, you have to use a stove, okay? Okay, this is the number of the last season. We finished recently. It's 3,000, more or less 3,000 people try to go to the summit. And we have 2,500 trekkers into the park. Easy for us, we separate the park in different altitude to management, uh, the waste, the toilet, and everything. Uh, we separate the park in, in four parts. The entrance of the park, Vacas uh, and Orcones, approaching camp Confluencia and Pampa de Leñas, the base camp Mulas and Argentina, and the high camps, Nido, Berlin, Summit. There is a, a more camp I put in the slide only two, but we have Canada, Cholera, is a lot of them. Okay, this is the entrance to these Orcones. We have a, a new visitor center. Have, I don't know, probably is five or six years older. Um, this is important for us because this is the permit you, you pay for, for going to the park. And the permit is important because 
is right now it's a lot of information for us. Uh, your name, where you're from, the day you go into the park, and the day, the day to leave, and this is the plastic bag with the liver in, in that part of the check-in. And if you see the plastic bag is right number, uh, it's the same in, into the permit, and we know this is your bag, okay? And when you leave, when you do a checkout, you have to do it for two reasons. The first is the safety. We know you are out of the park without problem. And the other, we check the plastic bag with your rubbish is out of the park. And for this, you have two choices. Now you show me your plastic bag with your rubbish. OK, here you are. And the other choice, if you deliver to the, to the private company in the base camp, and they put a stamp in, in the permit, OK? And the responsibility for down the rubbish is for them, okay? But you are clear to go. Um, for these places, in summer only, we have 50,000 visitors in summer. Uh, in winter, more or less the same number. And the people do a little trek over here. is one kilometer and a half. Um, for them, I think the, you have to pay a $2 entrance, more or less, okay? Uh, other important thing, we change the system of the park because when we build this, this um, the visitor center, we pick up the water is in this lake. It's the only lake into the park. And we pick up the water from here. Now we change the, the system and we connect to general pipe and it's a, it's a less problem. <clears throat> okay. This is the middle altitude toilet. This is confluencia. Um, this is a huge problem into the park, OK? The, the camp, we, we, we changed the place of the camp two times. The, the first, because was very, very small. Then we put next to the river. was very, very dangerous, because it's next to a glacier. And the glacier, for the lower warming, start to advance. And um, one day advance 30 meters per day. Is, OK, what happened here? And we have to change the, the place of the camp. Um, in the first time, in the, the, the camp before, the, the system of the toilet was a lettering. And now we have water. We, we put a two kilometer of pipe, and we have water. But we have this problem. In, in the beginning, this, this, this toilet uh, really works. But then the company add to the toilet uh, another box, and they start sell showers, and um, for more services, they they connect the dishwasher to to the exit. And now we have this problem. Okay, we have a chemical problem uh, that collapse the, the the pit, and they build another pit, and they change the 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 pipe. But we have the pit, the old pit, and with this problem. Um, we tried to change two times this, this system, but it's very difficult for us to do it. This is the, the toilet in, OK, sorry. And it's important because each company has the, the, they have their the own toilet, OK? In, in the base camp, it's the same. This is these rocks, this camp is on a glacier. Okay, if you make a hole in two meters, you have a glacier. It's very important to us care these places because Mendoza City is 180 kilometers from Aconcagua. It's a desert. The people who knows if you go to Mendoza, it's a beautiful city. You have a lot of trees, a wine yard, but it's a desert because in this part of the Andes, it's too high, and this this part they stop all humidity from from the Pacific, and the air continue dry. And we pick up the water in, in a waterway. And OK, it's a beautiful place. And for us, it's very important. The glacier is very important, the water, because in Mendoza, it never rains. Okay. And for that, we take off the, the, the waste with the helicopter. It's similar like a Canada, but the difference is we, we carry a lot of, of 
this variance. It's important each company has their the own bathroom. Some have two because the client probably in summer or in high season, they have into the that camp 100 customers, 100 clients, and is one, one toilet for 100 people is a lot. And we don't care. We, uh, we, it's important for us. We take off everything, and we don't care because in the same in the time it's, it's the same. Um, other important things because it's very expensive. The system is we try to to take off in pairs because of the weight. Okay. Remember, this camp is the the, the altitude of this base camp is 4,300 meters, and it's very difficult to the helicopter become more weight, okay? And then the barrels keep in the temporary deposit. When we finish the season, we hire a truck and they take off near Mendoza City. There is a, a place for these containers. Toilet in the high altitude. This is our Latin American CMC can, okay? <laughs> um, is the same, is, if you see, is the, the similar bag with another color. Uh, respect the number. When you finish your trip in the high altitude camp, you have to down to the base camp and deliver this bag to the park rangers. And the park ranger check in the permit. This is because it's important for us, the permit, okay? And they put okay, if you bring me your present, thank you very much, and you are, you are okay, okay? Uh, okay, there's some, some toilet camp, uh, yes, to toilet tent, sorry, um, but we have this problem. We continue with this problem, okay? Um, it's, the, 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 it's very easy for, for us to check the, the private company because there are concerns about this, this is a porter, but it's very difficult for us to check the, the climber came along, okay? It's very difficult because it's, we're talking about 6,000 meters or more, okay? Okay, why is a challenge uh, management the human waste in Aconcagua? The first, we don't have money for government. We don't have budget. It's for that we have to charge a fee. Okay, we have sales permit for that. Only th this is Mendoza province. Uh, it's similar like a state in US. Mendoza has 16 natural protected areas and only three collect money. Aconcagua collect or produce 99% of the money for all the system and the money is for fuel, food, vehicles, uniform, personal, helicopter, doctors, tool, for everything. And we have to share this money is around one pound, pound five million dollars. We have to share with the other 16 natural protected areas. Okay, it's, it's, okay, it's a money, it's a challenge. Why is a challenge too? We have limited resources. We have only 10 power rangers. Uh, the government or our director hire only in summer season, our season, 30 assistant with limited training. The ranger has limited, ten, limited training too. Um, we have to do a lot of work. We have a lot of duty into the park, like tour assistant. We have to patrol the area, uh, research assistant, supervise the camp, interpretation, safety, and law enforcement, work with helicopter, everything. We say a park ranger in, in Aconcagua is like a park ranger band, okay? I play the guitar, then I play the piano, then I play the drums, okay? They have to do everything. <laughs> Another um, thing that the government or the, the director hire only one person for mule control, but we have two entrants and they hire only one. Okay. We have two 16 rescue patrols, only for meeting into the mountain is a lot of work. We hire two, 22 doctors in summer season. We have only two vehicles, and um, this is important. 240 hours for of helicopter for do a lot of work too. Star relay, medical care, logistic, take off the way, garbage and human waste, say and rescue, a lot of things. Um, it's important because we, we have 
these limited resources, now we start working in a, in a preventive world, okay? It's for that the doctor, it's for that the rescue patrol, because it's very expensive, uh, search and rescue or medical care or the evacuation of the people. And now we work a lot in a, in a prevention, um, in the prevention. And we have a doctor in Confluencia, we have a doctor in Plaza de Mulas, in the base camp, Plaza de Mulas and Plaza Argentina. In, in the high season, we summon one more doctor in Confluencia, one more doctor in Plaza Argentina, and three more doctors in, in Plaza de Mulas. Okay, why is a challenge? Management plan has no ending and no storage capacity. This is the number the last five or six seasons. The, the red is the last one. Um, now we see a lot of people, the, the number of the parts start coming down, but this is the high season, is our January, okay? And the peak is continuing in the, in the January season. But we, a, a lot of time we have to guess because the private company don't give us information about his client and we have to guess about, about the season. This year is very strange because down, then flat, and then going up again. And I have to lead it with, with a personal, with a mules company, everything, okay? The, the, the slide before probably is similar, like you see in this conference. This is probably different or it's new for you. For you. We have the mules into the park. It's, uh, now the mules are part of the landscape. This is the, the climbers, okay, in the last season, and this is the mules. It's, it's for, for, the, for, for, for giving services, for carrying the stuff, the equipment, the food, the, the private company put a lot of mules into the park. This is a huge, huge problem into the park because the mules have four legs, a horseshoe like this, like Arion, and it's, it's very complicated for us. If you see, they, they don't respect the trail. They, they, the mules move for everywhere. Um, now in the discussion tables, the, the private company says, okay, you have to down the, the, the prices of the feed. And because we need bring more clients, but bring more clients is, is raise everything, okay? Okay, however, we take off with that, without money, with limited resources, without management plan, we take off 22 ton of human waste. We spend for do that approximately, for temporary, and for this last season, uh, 80, fly, 80 flower fly hours is we're talking about 150 barrels. We took out 13,800 kilograms of rubbish. Uh, we began to separate liquid from solid in the base camp bathrooms. We made, or we did, 259 patrols, and this is a huge work. We down 400 kilograms of garbage for the high camps. We don't have Sherpas. Um, we have to do this. And we stay in the high camps of, for, for 100 days, okay, in, in, in summer. Because we have this problem, it's very difficult for us to control it. it. It's a big mountain. We have only three power rangers in the base camp in, in, in this, this season only, in three in Plaza de Mulas and three in Plaza Argentina. It's very difficult for us to control everything. OK, the government hired only one person for mule control, but we control the mules in both entries. We implement implementation of the good practices. Uh, the people start, or the companies uh, start to store the, the food in these barriers. Um, in, in Vacas Valley, the, the, the mules carry on the, the food, and the mules driver carry on the, the, the wood for fire. And OK, we did 52 new signs to educate the people into the park. Okay. 
like this one, like this one, or this one. Okay, that's it. Muchas gracias. <laughs>